We're watching that fire near Fort Collins and uh, the weather, the storms, the winds, very unpredictable. Yeah, we have a little bit of relief coming our way in the extended forecast, but for the short term today, we really don't see much in the way of substantial rainfall. But we do have a weak system coming through, so it does introduce a slight chance for some showers, just not as big as what we would like. Here's the view from the Denver Museum of Nature and Science. Hazy sunshine out there right now and very warm temps. Here's how it looks up at the Stanley Hotel looking toward Rocky Mountain National Park. Hazy sun there as well. Just a few degrees cooler. Now for the tour of the radar because even in the past 20 minutes or so we're starting to see some showers pop up but they're over the high country. Really nothing down in the front range just yet. Traveling up by 70 you might encounter a few light showers if these are having any luck making their way down to the ground from Idaho Springs out towards the Vail Pass. Now up to the north, closer to the Hewlett fire, here come a few very minor showers. And I have the lightning indicator turned on, but it's not picking up on anything. So that is good news. We don't see any lightning just yet, but we may see some breezy conditions as these storms develop in the next few hours as they interact with that peak daytime heating. Look where we stand right now, already 81 degrees at DIA. Humidity is down there at 12 percent. So even though we have this upper level moisture moving through, the lower levels are still pretty dry. So it's going to have a hard time trying to get that rain down to the ground. Current temps along the I-25 corridor, close to 80 degrees in Denver, cooler where you have more cloud cover up in Fort Collins. A weak disturbance is coming through, and that's going to help energize the atmosphere enough to produce those isolated showers. We're seeing them from the broad perspective. Meanwhile, sunshine on the eastern plains, but breezy there today. The winds will be strong enough to warrant a red flag warning. Meanwhile, on the western slope, got a lot of counties included in a fire weather watch, and that is posted for Friday. Let's focus on today, though and see those rain chances and the storm chances coming in. After about 2 p.m., we might find some of those close to us here in the metro area, also up in Larimer County. Again, not everyone will see these, but the ones that do form may contain some brief gusty winds and some lightning. Now, the future cast through 10 p.m. shows all of that diminishing with the loss of daytime heating. We're clear overnight and back to a similar day for your forecast on Thursday. And we should see temps staying very warm all the way through the rest of the week. For your numbers today in terms of rainfall, it's not very impressive. Anything that does form, it's only going to be a trace to about a tenth of an inch or so. So we got your uh, forecast and writing calling for isolated thunderstorms, a bit breezy. And your seven-day planner shows that relief coming our way later in the week, Bertha. 70s and rain chances, but a 50% likelihood on Saturday, 30% on Sunday. So that may impact your weekend plans, but it's going to be good to get that moisture in here along with the cooler temperatures to help the fire danger. Definitely. We'll take it. Thank you so much, Maureen. We'll talk to you soon.